Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. We actually have a really cool story to you today about the future of Nintendo Switch Online. A massive update coming to it. The next system or systems seemingly have leaked for Nintendo Switch Online. Is it based on rumors? What is this based on? Where is this coming from? How the hell did this happen? Were the rumors correct last year? We have a lot to talk about here, but before I get into it, if this is the first time you've ever seen a Nintendo Prime video, I would appreciate it if you drop a subscribe and a like on this video. Maybe hit that bell icon to be notified of future Nintendo news and other video game news that I randomly cover whenever the hell I feel like it. Also, we have a major giveaway event happening this summer. More details on that later called Prime Gaming Fest. We've talked about it a little bit, but there's a lot of stuff happening behind the scenes for that. So, uh, why not subscribe now? Because, hey, you can join before we hit our next subscriber goal, which is 80 thousand subscribers and hey maybe you want to be here before we hit a hundred thousand i have this thing in the back of my mind that you know we, we we're gonna get there someday right i think so uh especially when we're covering amazing stories like this so this comes uh, from Nintendo Everything, although this is just uh, their gathering of all the information. They're actually the original source. We have some some, uh, some some insiders here, but Game Boy and Game Boy Color GBA. So here we go. Switch Online emulators have seemingly leaked. Speculation about Game Boy and Game Boy Color games joining Nintendo Switch Online picked up last August. Again, we've had rumors and reports and stuff from Nintendo insiders, but we've never actually seen anything confirmed. So fans were taken by surprise when the N64 support was announced for the service. So this made people think, oh, these people don't know what they're talking about, right? N64, Sega Genesis are coming. We're not getting Game Boy, Game Boy Color. Uh, duh, these leakers, these insiders, they were wrong again, right? That's what a lot of people presumed. Uh, or they just thought, well, maybe it'll come later. Um, so fans were taken by surprise, obviously, about that. And months later, talk of Game Boy games on Switch Online is back in the news. Out of nowhere, four files popped up on 4chan. We're really... You know, can you trust 4chan? It's a really weird th place. According to Twizzler user, Trash Bandicoot, <laughs> Trash, I love, I love that name. Um, by the way, I actually think Crash Bandicoot's a good series, but that's not here or there. Two of these are NSPs with a 7-zip archive that has loose NCAs. The 7-zip archive is called Hiyoko, which is a Game Boy emulator apparently made by Nerd. Nintendo's team that has worked on other classic platforms for Switch Online. There's also a Game Boy Advance emulator called Sloop. When it comes to leaks, 4chan can be hit or miss. However, and this is why we're paying attention to this, the consensus currently is that the files are legitimate. This is because the entire builds of three Nintendo Switch Online apps are usable and playable. Not to mention source code with identifying information from developers at Nintendo, box version control commit logs, timestamps. Because of the leaked files are circulating online, there are Switch owners out there building from the code and playing pre-finished builds. In other words, something like this is extremely difficult to fake. All right. So here's the originating source on this stuff. There's also been no official word from Nintendo. Well, let's go ahead and open up the tweets. So as we open this up, um, you can see Nintendo's official Game Boy Advance emulator for Nintendo Switch just leaked. Now it's just a matter of when it's going to add. Um, so here's where you're seeing some of the information from the emulator here. Um, looking all crazy and cool. This has already started to do numbers thanks to random uh, lookups. So I'll bring in some extra content and doubts. Four files were leaked in the 4chan. And then here's the 4chan leak. And again, okay, 4chan, whatever. But here's the thing. Normally, when we're talking about this stuff, um, it's very hard to consider 4chan as a legitimate place. I mean, when you hear 4chan is where this leaked from, you think fake, fake, fake. But the thing is, the reality is a lot of really legitimate leaks happen at 4chan. Why? Because it's very hard to track. So this leak in particular seems to have actual running emulators specifically built for switch and done in a way with identification files that's that's always scary um for actual nintendo employees i find this to be fascinating because for this to come out this would mean a nintendo employee has basically provided these files or directly leaked them themselves through 4chan and maybe hoping through 4chan you know what people aren't going to believe me it's 4chan but also 4chan keeps you anonymous and it can be hard to track now based on the information in these files maybe it won't be so hard for nintendo to track down who it is nintendo does put a lot of tracking information on this stuff but it certainly looks like game boy and game boy color and game boy advance which i don't know that we knew for certain was going to come uh, is going to be coming to Nintendo Switch Online at some point. There might even be their new announcement for September of this year, since they tend to, like, you know, 
at the end of the year in September announced that the, the, the new platform is being added. Uh, obviously, you know, we're not sure on all of the games being added. If we go in and look at this, you know, we can see we can see some examples in here. Uh, so let's let's uh, show you some of the examples here. We, we, we didn't really look at this page very much. You, you see the Pokemon Pinball in here, Super Robot Tactics, Mario Kart, um, Single Pack, Pokemon Trade, Golden Sun, Mr. Driller. Uh, you know, obviously you see the Mario Bros. Classic mode there. Uh, so you're seeing a bunch of different stuff in your po uh, Pokemon Pinball, Ruby, and Sapphire. Uh, so again, we're seeing a lot of really interesting stuff that's very, very, very hard to fake. This whole thing is hard to fake. And that's what makes this crazy is when we get leaks like this, it, it, it can be very hard to fathom how this happens. But hey, you know what? Every now and then we get rogue Nintendo employees or maybe even former Nintendo employees that just have this information and say, you know what? I don't care anymore. I'm dumping this because they feel like Nintendo should have already announced it. Uh, so when we see stuff like this and we hear, think back on the rumors from last year coming from like Nate the Hate and, and others where some people dismissed them as, oh, they were obviously wrong. Were they? This is the crazy thing about when you have people who are known to be insiders that get this inside information is sometimes things get canceled. Maybe we never get Game Boy, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance. But what we can tell now is that the emulators definitely exist. The files exist. They run specifically on Nintendo Switch. And all of the code work seems to lead back to Nintendo's internal development team. And obviously, we have a lot of references in here to actual Nintendo employees. Again, not going to dive into the files myself because um, there's just... Nintendo, I don't need you coming after me, all right? I, I don't need... I'll let, I'll let the, the various other um switch hackers and everything they could dive into it and they could take the risk i don't need nintendo's ninjas coming after me so no nintendo i didn't download these files and look into them myself because i'm just not i'm not about that and uh getting on nintendo's bad side here we have nintendo in the name of the channel i don't need them like copyright striking me because they're pissed off so all i'll say is this is really really cool to talk about it's very interesting. This stuff has leaked out on the internet. Obviously, time will tell when Nintendo actually wants to announce these. Uh, there's been talks about how if these are real, that they're going to be announcing them soon. Maybe it's a summer surprise drop. They tend to do surprise drops of this stuff. Uh, so it could be a surprise. This could be maybe when they're done with the current slate of N64 games they have already announced. Instead of announcing more N64 games, they drop this instead. One thing that is important to me is that this is more platforms heading to Switch Online. And I think that's the most important part is getting all of Nintendo's platforms. I mean, I want to see GameCube, obviously, uh, but getting all of Nintendo's platforms represented in some way on Nintendo Switch Online would be a win for the service. I obviously want to know, is this getting added to the base package or is this going to be expanded into uh, the expansion pack? I hope it's part of the base package, but... You know, I also wish the expansion pack didn't exist or expansion pass didn't exist and they would just make everything part of the base package. I think for 20 bucks, it would be a killer deal. You start to argue, you know, for the additional money on top, it's going to be really hit and miss on who's going to value the games enough to want to do that. Obviously, with the DLC thrown in. So it's going to be different valuations for different people. I'm not here to tell you how to spend your money, spend it how you want. But this is a massive update for Nintendo Switch Online. It does make Nintendo Switch Online just that much better. I mean, Game Boy and Game Boy Color and even Game Boy Advance, like that's a huge chunk of my childhood that I spent uh, where I got to play video games alone in my room away from any of the ongoing drama in the house. I'm not saying that my house was extremely dramatic, but I, you know, I, I grew up where I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it was in a abusive situation, but my parents used to argue a lot when I was a kid. I think more than they even remember, like when it comes up today, they're still married, still together, still everything's all good for them. They don't, they don't argue like they did back then, but it's very interesting, um, you know, thinking back on it and anytime those, those memories come up at like a family gathering, well, my parents are always like, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> it was a lot worse than you realize, but um, that's okay. You know, you choose to remember however you want so you can be happy today. Uh, but yeah, they, a large part of me escaping a lot of that was Game Boy, Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color, playing those in my room uh, underneath my blanket, laying in bed. It was, it was so cool. So many fond memories of, you know, things like Mario Golf and, you know, even the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games I, I used to play back then on, on Game Boy. Obviously, Advance Wars on Game Boy Advance. I played the hell out of that. So, look, there's a lot of great stuff coming. Uh, I think the Nintendo Switch Online, regardless of these leaks, but now that we have this information out there, I really wanted to get it out to you guys. So I hope you enjoy uh, this.
trying to get this out to you as quick as I can. So I'll catch you guys in the next video.